Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nevada and UNLV bragging rights at stake as you take a peek inside the stadium. Everybody making sure the hammies are all loosened up. Quads are in good shape. Shoulder pads ready to wreak havoc in the battle for Nevada. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Nevada lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down at the 35. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it third and three. About the 47 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Makes it to the 41. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. That makes it first and 10. Down he goes around the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. They'll knock him down for a loss. A loss on that one is he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 20. Gain of 14 on the way. First down. run and he's brought down that'll bring up second and three and he 
Raiders tackle well, after positive play. yardage. That's, that's good, good for a gain, gain of seven, seven yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it first and goal. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. They're at the eight. Second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. This is the 12th play of this drive. Quick throw out to the receiver. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one yard line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's to the 10. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. They just did what they had to do there. That was a big opportunity lost there for the defense, but they still have these guys pinned back pretty deep, so they can't back down now. From their own 20-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 23. The Rebels lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Converts the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. And for Kansas, they've now dropped three in a row. North Texas wins it 38-21. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Johnson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Caught at the eight. Tackle made at the 28. Nevada's has really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down at the 34. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and three. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. We're through one quarter. Nevada's lead is a touchdown.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. As a man, he'll lose big yards. So the defense does their job well on that series. Taylor, back to return it. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Nevada, up seven points. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Let's go. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. it all going long incomplete oh my gosh how did he drop that the offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception Williamson is back awaiting the punt That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. From their own 18-yard line, second down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Fourth and long here after the sack. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Taylor fields it at the 46, and he's tackled at the 36. Nevada's offense, Kurt, maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays, but right now it's been running the football, and it's working. Nevada is up a score. Quinn on the give. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 37-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. 
The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. time he airs it out doesn't get there excellent series by this defense forcing them to go three and out and the offense really struggled on this drive they're gonna have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys Mullins got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around with football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think probably the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line. It's second down. Brought down around the 29-yard line. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. A nice third down conversion there. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. UNLV will have one timeout remaining. That's a first down. Game of 13 on the play. First down. Disco Reaver! Disco Reaver! Check 99! Check 99! Here we go! Williams is intended to see the From the 25 yard line, second down. Tackles him hard at the 12. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check nine, check nine. They need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Sanders was the typical at the 90 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. This is the tenth play of this drive. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks up, and it's good. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Action going on in Columbia. And for LSU, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. 
And for Lawrence, he's now over the century mark passing. The Tigers lead 21-14, getting close to halftime. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. From the seven. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 33. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 7-3, Nevada. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games met, match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He's to the 20. Whoa, he just took a licking. We're about set to start things up again. Nevada holds a four point lead. Looks to his receiver, first down, and down he goes at the 45-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 45-yard line. Around the 47 yard line. of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. He makes his way to about the 28. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 32 yard line. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Hill was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 14. Nevada is up four. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First 
first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. play 70 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off and he'll return this one from the seven he makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent pickup. Gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Tackle made at the 49. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Throw it in a hurry. Got a man open. Bad pass. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. He chucks it downfield. Caught with room to work. And he's finally shoved out at the 12-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. From the 14-yard line, second down. And a quick throw, knocked out of bounds at the seven. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it for a Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They're going to go for the easy three here. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a trip out to Fort Valley. The Beavers have the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Williams, he now has thrown for three touchdowns. Oregon State leads it 28-24. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gets out to about the 31. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That makes it 7-6. 
from their own 35-yard line. It's second down. Nevada up by eight. Handoff up the middle. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. We head to the final quarter of play. Nevada's up by eight. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Tackled right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. He'll be intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. To him on a quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 45. First and 10, ball on the 45 yard line. Nevada holds an eight point advantage. He might have a chance. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. This is the eighth play of the drive. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Taylor was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Williamson back deep to return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fires out quick. It's picked off. The 10. Touchdown, Wolfpack. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Turner fields it at the nine, and he's tackled at the 28-yard line. 
Nevada's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense and put points up. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Seven yard line, boss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Get out, get out, get out. Hearn to punt. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. Nevada's offensive coordinator, Kurt, has been calling a run-heavy game, and quite frankly, it's paying off. It is paying off. It's working. The only downside for all of us is we can get a chance to see this quarterback put up those big numbers that you're used to seeing him put up. We're about set to start things up again. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes it to the 41. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From the 41-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 40. Quinn gains about a yard on the play. UNLV is going to use their first time out of the half here. get the call and he's level at the 42 it's a great play by the defense but you know, it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line they just seem to allow the defensive line to get through and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all brought down at the 34 the rebels using their third and last timeout. looks like they've decided to go for it here Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. He's going to go for the home run. Missed it. Boy, Brad, how about that one? The quarterback simply underthrew the wide receiver there on the deep pass. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Just under two to go in the game. Catches it, and that's all. Not a gain of six yards. That'll bring up 34. They bring the quarterback down. That's a loss of eight yards. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. 
So we're just about ready to return to action. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. It's second and 12. Ball on the 26. He fights forward to about the 23. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Take a look at the highlights. Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? Nevada came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.